Hello, everybody. This is Beetle G, and welcome to Into the Breach. This game is so fantastic. I cannot wait to show it to you guys. It's made by the same people, if you can see down here, Subset Games. Same people who made Faster Than Light, which, if you haven't tried it out, I would recommend, but... Sorry, I... <laughs> the recommendation is a little shaky. The, the last boss is incredibly difficult. There's, like, a huge spike in difficulty. Game's great. Try it out. This game, I am in... I am in love with. I can't get enough of it. So, I'm actually going to create a new profile quickly. Uh, test. Please ignore. So, we can hit new game and get the little backstory. And a tutorial getting going. Alright, mission failed. All of humanity has died. Open the breach. Time to go back and try again. All right, so here we get to pick our squad. So, you have this time travel over here. You unlock new people. And they each have different abilities. This guy has the special. He gets more experience when he kills people. You can change who, which mech you start in. I'm just going to start in the combat mech. That's the one I've had the most success with. And then this is your whole squad. You do unlock more squads which have different abilities. But let's start on normal and try this out. So humanity has been destroyed and we have to jump back in time to save humanity from the bugs. These corporate islands are the Vex something. So the first island we can attack is Archive Inc. This museum island recreates old earth as it was before the oceans rose and nearly wiped out humanity. You've shown up in the nick of time. The Vec are overrunning our island archive. The old earth relics here still have some fight in them. They could help us. All right, so we're gonna start the simulation. So you've got this board. You have perfect... Okay, I'm just gonna follow the tutorial. <laughs> The power grid. This is the power grid. Whenever a building is damaged, it will be reduced. If it is reduced to zero, you lose. Enemy attacks. Every enemy attack is forewarned. Next turn, this one will attack the building. Hover over an enemy to see details about its attack. This is our combat mech. It can punch adjacent tiles. Click on any mech to move it close to the enemy. So, we have the enemy. We can see where he's doing. He's going to shoot a projectile at our buildings. And we don't want to lose any HP. So we're going to move our guy over here. And then we can punch. So you click on the punch. And you can see... Oh, it, it does two damage. You can see right here. And you can see up there. It's showing you. And then it pushes him. So now he's going to attack the mountain. The mech's punch pushed this unit. It will now attack a new location. Pushes can save buildings from attacks. There's pushing, there's damage, and there's push and damage. You can see by the highlighted zone, or the arrow, or the numbers. It's pretty self-explanatory. So, once we've moved, we end our turn. Then they get to a move. They get to attack and move. And then get ready to attack again. This is our tank. It shoots a projectile that travels in a straight line and hits another object. So I think we can, yeah, we can hover over it. You can see the orange is where it can hit, and it'll give you a small description. And I actually really like the GIF. It shows you how the weapon works. So you don't have to, there's no, it's very clear. <laughs> there's no question on what's going to happen. So I think we want to shoot this guy. And we can just punch him once to kill him. Perfect. Oh no, now there's three enemies. But, lucky us, I think there's three units in a squad. The artillery mech can shoot over obstacles like mountains, but cannot shoot adjacent tiles. Uh, the mech weapon will only damage units on the center and push adjacent tiles. So this is the weirdest one so far. When you shoot, it does one damage to the middle tile and pushes these guys. This is all very key to learning how this game works. So, 
those two units that we pushed were ground units, and they drowned when they hit the water. Also, let me make sure... Okay, the music's up. There's just no music for this. So I think we want to move here, shoot here, and he's dead. Oops. Uh, he can act, but... I, I mean, we'll move him closer in case more people spawn over here. Each of the combat... The, the mechs can also repair themselves, but that takes your whole action. And it doesn't do anything when you're at full HP, so it doesn't really matter. Every mission you win by defeating the Vec or fighting them until they retreat. Bonus objectives. Mission objectives... Uh, missions have bonus objectives. Completing these will earn you additional resources after the battle. Okay. So we want to move this guy so he doesn't hit the building. This guy can just move and not get attacked. Hmm. So we could move this guy over here. Shoot. Ooh. So the reason I don't want to shoot here is because it'll push our tank into the mountain. So I'm going to move... This guy here. When we shoot, it's going to push this guy out of the way. This guy can punch this guy. Kill him. This guy can kill one of these guys. Oh. Oh, so this is the other cool thing. You can push them so they attack each other. So now this one will do one damage to that guy. He's gonna hit the mountain. Boom. Okay. Easy. And easy. So this is actually great. We can shoot here. Kill, uh, we pushed him into that guy, which did damage to each of them. And then this guy kills that. And then this guy kills that. Pushing a building doesn't do anything. So it's perfect. And there we go. We got out safely. So we really just want to prevent building damage. Damage to the mechs doesn't matter. It just gets healed at the end of the combat. So the power grid connects every corporate island. Any damage it takes in missions will persist. The Vec caused damage before you arrived, but there will be opportunities to restore it. And then every mission has a potential reward you can see back here. You can get a power core, which upgrades your mechs, grid power, which gives you more HP, or corporate rep, which gives you m money to spend at the end of each island. Missions with more potential rewards have additional dangers. So these both have just two. That means they're medium, one is easy, and they're all two. <laughs> so I'm going to choose this one so we can open up more of the island. So it's cool. You get to choose which missions you want to take on. You Each mission has slightly different bonus objectives, so you can decide which objectives you, wanna, you, you think you're comfortable with. And each of the different squads have bo uh, strengths and we weaknesses. So if you feel like your squad is good at this particular objective, you can go for it over the others. All right, so you get to lay out your units. Uh, I didn't think about that too much, just kind of threw them down. It's garbage day and the here are the Vec. Something, something, bad guy line, good guy line, good badass line. An enemy unit will emerge here next turn. You can temporarily block enemies from spawning, but it will damage the blocking unit. So. And this is a Scion. He has a passive bonus to all Vec. Killing it removes the bonus. So you can hover over him. He gives everybody else plus one HP. So they have four HP instead of three. Once we kill him, they'll lose one HP. It's, it's all good. All right, and our bonus objective is to defend these tanks. So we'd really like to push this guy so he's not attacking this. So let's see how we should do this. Hmm. I like... So this guy's attacking. I don't mind our tanks getting a little bit damaged. We could just move here, shoot, hurt this. <laughs> the, the line I'm looking at right now leads to ours taking a lot of damage. Also, I'm only doing moves right now because you can undo moves. You cannot undo attacks. You get one reset per battle. 
So I want to take this carefully. When this guy attacks, it actually sets the forest on fire. You can see the little fire gif. And we do not want to be on fire. So I don't think that's a good move yet. This guy can push this guy or kill this guy completely. This guy's still setting this forest on fire, so we'd have to move like there. And if you hover over this, you can see the attack order. So Scion's going to do nothing first, then two and three are going to do their thing. This is actually pretty difficult to save this tank, the more I look at it. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to actually punch here. Push. And there we go. We don't take damage. This guy's going to take damage and be set on fire, which is fantastic. And actually, I think we could just... So if we shoot, we will kill this guy. But then this guy will shoot us. So I don't think I want to do that yet. Our mech is damaged, but that's okay. Ah, shoot, he hit the mountain. I, I thought I'd planned it all out so he wouldn't take damage. We weren't able to block anything, but I think this is the best turn we can do. They can repair, but only themselves. Doesn't really matter. So, yep. The forest tile took damage, turning it into fire. If a unit stands on fire, it will ignite and take damage every turn. We can walk over that safely. We can't stand in it. So we don't have to worry about this guy. He's just dead. Oh no, so he's webbed us. We have to push him before this guy can move. And actually, a lot of our people have been webbed. This is pretty terrible. Pretty, pretty terrible. If we shoot here, it'll push both of them, and then both of our units will be able to move. I like that. This guy can shoot him into the forest fire. This guy will take another damage. Ah, so I wanted to punch this guy. I think this guy's just going to hit the tank. I, that's fine. You get a really good bonus if you complete all your bonus objectives, but it's not looking too easy to do that this time. So I'm just going to block this. If we can't complete the bonus objective, there's no point standing here, so I'm just gonna punch this guy. All right. He's dead. He's dying. He'll die next turn before he can attack, so we don't have to worry about him. Unfortunately, the tank exploded, and we have two more enemies. This is, it's getting a little out of hand. This is fine. Oh, this guy's not moving. Okay. Alright, so now this tank can actually attack. This unit is webbed. Alright, but he can attack, so he can just push this guy. Yeah, I think he's just going to push him. Uh, this guy can punch, killing him. Yep, pushing does damage, look at that. This guy pushes this guy, so he'll block the spawn. Spawning also does a damage, so he'll just die. And then this guy can move out of the way because he's just gonna die. And shoot this guy. Boom, there we go. Pretty good turn. I'm still upset that we lost one of the tanks, but we should get out of this completely alive, which is the most important thing. Hmm. So, I really like this game. There's a lot of strategy that goes into it. You have perfect, uh, perfect information every turn, which I th find fascinating. Oh, wait. Undo, undo. I want this guy to get the kill because he actually gets experience, whereas the mini tank does not. Uh, yeah, we're ending the turn. We can't do anything 
good with them. They're full HP, and we won anyways. All HP for the units gets reset every match, every board. So that's perfect. We saved a thousand people, and we got one star for the end of the island. Let's do the easy. Destroy the dam. Man, I didn't realize how slow I played. <laughs> Alright, this is the shield. It will block damage and any negative effect. Fire, freezing, acid. Only direct damage will remove the shield. Non-damaging negative effects will have no effect. So, shields are pretty strong in this game. Uh, it's nice to have some of our buildings shielded. And our bonus objective is to destroy this dam. Which... If they get in a good position, we can take care of that. Hmm. So I'm really tempted to just punch this guy. I will, I'll move a little closer. Probably punch him. Hmm. If we... push this guy down, we can push this guy into him with the artillery. So, punch this guy first. And now... Oh, shoot. I messed up, but we can still salvage it by shooting here. He won't do any damage. He won't do any damage. And everything's looking good. He still has 2 HP, which is not great. He has 1, which is easy. Okay. I don't mind when they attack our people. Oh. Oh. Because we can just move our people out of the way. I think now is the time. I'm going to go up here. Oh my gosh. Don't end the turn. Punch the dam. That floods these two tiles. It'll kill him. He'll be fine. He'll take one damage from this guy. In fact... Okay, let me think for a second. If I go here and shoot the mountain, it makes this guy block a spawn and not hit a building. And I'd rather block this spawn than do damage to this guy, I think. And we're fine in the water, we just can't move. Or, sorry, we can't attack. So, we can move through it. It doesn't hinder us at all. Oops. Uh, I mean, whatever. Repair. <laughs> okay. Turns playing out fine. Deal the damage there. Okay. Okay. And... Perfect. So, we can actually... Oh, no. I wanted to push him into the drink. Oh, oh. This is actually a pain in the butt. So, I think the only way to prevent any damage from the buildings... I know this is shielded, but I'd still rather take care of this guy. So, shoot him. Move here. Move here. This guy will shoot this guy. So, one bug down. Titan Fist into blocking the spawn. And then we'll have two more next turn, but uh, we've cleared out all the others. This is great. Flyer is going to be a pain in the butt. But the rest of this looks easy. Okay. So, it's not ideal, but we can push him. He'll attack the shield. Kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. And this guy can punch him into a mountain and kill him. This guy might as well repair. This time it actually does make a difference. Kinda. We won. So it doesn't really matter, but... There we go! Easy peasy. Ooh, so we... Uh, got promoted. We leveled up our special guy. And he gets a skill. So this gives us three more grid defense, which is up here. So so now what we can level him up once more and he gets another skill. The grid defense is our chance to resist an attack. 
The buildings, when they get attacked, they have an 18% chance to not take damage. It's great. And if you get more health than this bar, it keeps pumping grid defense. It's really cool. It's a cool system. All right, and we got more corporate reputation. Reputation. Uh, so I think I'm gonna call the video here. Thank you for tuning in. We're gonna finish the rest of this island next time, next video. So join me. This game is a lot of fun and we're gonna get, we're gonna dive down deep. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna learn all the tactics. It's gonna be fun. If you liked what you saw, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.